Hello Junior 6 Today we are going to solve model 2 in your school book Okay, the first question Choose the correct answer <clears throat> If one angle of a parallelogram is right Then it's called Here we have one condition If a parallelogram has a right angle Then we call it a rectangle Rectangle is a parallelogram with right angle Number 2 24 over 5. This is an improper fraction and you want to change it into mixed number. You can use uh, your cal uh, calculator directly or you can make long division like this one. Okay, it's 24 over 5. 24 divided 5, 4. 4 times 5, 20. 24 divided 20, it's 4. We took the quotient as the whole number and the remainder, we put it up. And the denominator is 5. So it's 4 and 4 over 5. Okay, number 3. If the marks of 6 students in one exam is 29, 33, 57, 40, 36, and 49, then the range of these marks is? The range is maximum number minus minimum. The maximum number was 57 and the minimum one was 29. So 57 minus 29 is 28 okay number four if 4 over 6 equal 12 over x then x plus 2 equals what here we should first get the value of x okay 4 over 6 equal 12 over x to get the value of x we are going to make crisscross we are going to multiply 6 times 12 and then divide them by 4 x is going to be 18 but I want x plus 2 so I'm going to make 18 plus 2 which is equal to 20 okay number 5 1 and 3 over 4 equal how many percent to change any number into a percentage we multiply it by 100 okay so we are going to make 1 and 3 over 4 times 100 it's going to be 175 percent and of course it's more than 100 percent because 1 equals 200 percent and this is 1 and 3 over 4 so it's more than 100 percent okay number six click here please it's 513 over 614 or 432 over 145 which is bigger okay here directly we can note that this is a proper fraction and this one is improper fraction so of course the improper fraction is bigger than the proper fraction but if you want to divide to change it into decimal it's okay you can use your calculator and change it into decimal this one is going to be 0 0.83 and other numbers. And this one is going to be 2.97 and other numbers. So, of course, 2 is bigger than 0. Okay, question number 2. Okay, complete the following statement. This data, age, toll, weight, and favorite food, all of them are quantitative except... Of course, all of them are talking about numbers, except favorite food. It's descriptive. Okay? Number two. A wooden box in the form of cube. Its external volume is 1,000 centimeter cube. Its capacity is 729 centimeter cube. Then, the volume of the wood of the box. Equal how many centimeter cube? Okay, please look here. This is the wooden cube, okay? The external dimension means its dimension from outside, which is equal to 1,000 centimeter cube. The internal dimension or capacity, the same here is the internal dimension from inside. The capacity is from inside, which is equal to 729 centimeter cube. He wants the volume of the wood itself. Okay, if we get the external volume, 
and subtract from it the internal volume, we can get the volume of the wood. So if we have two volumes, big volume and small volume, and he asked me about volume again. So to get the volume of the wood, we make big volume minus small volume or external volume minus the internal or the capacity. So it's going to be 1000 minus 729. It's going to be 271 centimeter cube. Okay. Number three, the following table shows the mark of 50 students in one month in math. The number of pupils whose mark less than 40 is. He wants the pupil who got marks less than 40. Okay, less than 40, number of students. We are going to make 5 plus 15 plus 20, which is equal to 40 students. Okay, less than 45, 15 and 20. Okay, number 4. If the height of a fence of the villa in the design is 5 cm, design here means the drawing length. It's in the drawing. And its real length, uh, sorry, its real height is 6 meters. Then the drawing scale is. Okay, the drawing scale here, it's going to be drawing length to real length. Okay, the drawing length is equal to 5 centimeter, and the real one is 6 meter. But we have to change meter to centimeter first. Here is the answer. We cannot work or make ratio, we, uh, and we have different units. So we have to change meter into centimeter. So we are going to multiply 6 meters times 100. Okay, so 5 centimeter to 600 centimeter cross the units, and then we are going to divide both uh, sides by 5. It's going to be 1 to 120. Okay, this is the drawing scale. Number 5. Okay, also here you can use your calculator. Here is it 3 over 4 plus five and a half. It's going to be 6.25. Okay, seven minus what gives me 6.25. So we are going to make seven minus 6.25. It's going to be 0 0.75. Okay, number six. A car consumes 20 liters of petrol to cover a distance of 250 kilometers. Then the rate of consumption. He wants the rate. The rate is going to be equal distance over liters, over fuel, okay? So it's going to be 250 kilometers over 20 liters. It's equal to 12.5 kilometer per liter, okay? Question number three. Three persons started in a business. The first paid 15,000 pounds, the second paid 25 pounds, and the third paid 20,000 pounds. Okay. At the end of the year, the net profit was 5,520 pounds. Calculate the share of each of them. Here it's a proportion division problem. First, we have to get the, sh the ratio between the three persons. So the first, second, third. The first paid 15,000, second paid 25,000, and third paid 20,000. We are going to, to divide the three, uh, the three parts by 1,000. So it's, go it's going to be 15 to 25 to 20. And then we are going to divide by 5. So it's going to be 3 to 5 to 4. The ratio between the three persons is going to be 3 to 5 to 4. 
we are going to take this, uh, this ratio again to distribute the profit between them. Profit means sum. So I'm going to write first, second, third, and sum. And two lines. One line for the ratio and the other for the real. 3 to 5 to 4 and add them. It's going to be 12. And under 12, I'm going to write 5,520. Okay, we are going to make scissor. So it's going to be 3 times 5,520 over 12. This is the profit of the first person. And the second one is going to be 5 times 5,520 over 12. The third one is going to be 4 times 5,520 over 12. If you add these three numbers, you are going to get the profit. Okay? Okay, question number two. 10 liters of water were poured in a vessel in the shape of cupoid. Its base is a square of side length 25 centimeter. Find the height of the water. So it's squared base cuboid. Okay? So we are going to use this triangle. Volume equals side times side times height. Okay? Here we have got 10 liters. Uh, we have to change liter into centimeter cube. So we multiply first by 1000. 10 times 1000 is going to be 10,000 centimeter cube. Height is equal to volume divided side divided side. So 10,000 divided 25 divided 25, it's going to be 16 centimeter. Okay, 16 centimeter. This is the answer. Question number 4a. In one of our schools, there are 360 students. If the ratio between the boys and the girls was 1 to 2, find each of the number of boys and girls. He want the real number of boys and the real number of girls. Again, it's a sum problem. Okay? Okay. We are going to write boys, girls, sum, and two lines, one for the ratio and the other for real. We are going to write 1 to 2 and then add them. 1 plus 2 is going to be 3. And under the sum, in the real line, we are going to write 360. To get the real number of boys, we are going to make 1 times 360 divided 3. The real number of girls, we are going to make 2 times 360 divided 3. Again, if we add 120 and 240, we are going to have 360 students. Okay? Question number 2. In the opposite figure, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, A, B, 6 cm, B, C, 7 cm, and B, M, half the diagonal, equals to 3.8 cm. Angle C is equal to 70 cm. Okay, look here, please. Here is it again. Okay, the question he wants, angle A, D, C, okay, A, D, C, he wants this angle, okay, we know that in parallelogram, the sum of two consecutive angles equals to 180 degree, so to get angle A, D, C, we are going to make 180 minus 70, it's going to be 110 degree. Then he wants the parameter of triangle B, C, D. This one. B, C, D. Okay. The parameter means side plus side plus side. This side equals to 7 cm. And this one, like this one, equals to 6 cm. Okay, BM equals 3.8, then DM also is going to be 3.8, because the diagonal of parallelogram bisect each other, okay? So the parameter of the triangle is going to be 7 plus 6 plus 3.8 
plus 3.8, it's going to be 20.6 centimeter. Okay, here, question number 5A. Heba bought a mobile for 660 pounds with a discount 15%. Calculate the price of this mobile before the discount. Okay, he wants the price before discount. So for sure, this price is after discount. So we are going to write before discount minus discount equal after discount. And we're going to make two lines, one for the percentage and the other for real. Okay, before discount, we write 100% and the discount is 15%. Okay, so we are going to complete this line, 100 minus 15, it's going to be 85%. The price after discount is 660 and we want the price before discount. Again, we are going to make 100 times 660 over 85. Okay, the number is going to be 776.47 and other numbers. Don't write them all. That's enough. Okay. The last question. The following table shows the number of hours which spent by 46 pupils to study their lessons daily. We have got this table. Okay. The first line, which is number of hours, we draw it here in the graph down and we write number of hours. Okay. The other one, which is the number of pupils, we draw it here and write number of pupils, okay? So up number of pupils and down number of hours, okay? The intersection of these two lines is zero. And I'm going to put one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, five dash, and six, okay? I don't, uh, we don't draw the total. It's not drawn, okay? Here our scale, we are going to, to use which scale? We have the number 6, 3, 8, 12, 11. So we are going to use a scale 1. 1, 2, 3, and so on. Okay? To, uh, to draw the graph, 1 at 6. So here, I'm going to stand at 1. Go up till I reach 6. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put the point between 1 and 2 in the middle and I'm going to write 1 okay 2 is 3 so again I'm going to stand at 2 and move up till I reach 3 and I'm going to put it between 2 and 3 and write 2 and so on till I finish all the numbers okay then with my bare hand I'm going to join 1 to 2 to 3, to 4, and 5. Okay? This is the frequency curve. Okay, Junior 6, that was the end of our exam and the end of our session. Thank you and goodbye.